what's up guys we're gonna do a quick showcase of the world of halo series 5 master chief from halo 2 by just wears i don't know how if i if i pronounce that <laughs> correctly just wears <laughs> uh, i don't know so it sounds uh uh wrong but anyway um the only reason i got this um figures because my nephew got hyped with Master Chief so we went when we went to uh, GameStop I was able to get him the series 6 uh, Halo it's the one with the battle damage and his signature rifle however in this version um, I think he's representing the one when he was in the cover of the Halo 2 video game way back during the Xbox days. Um, anyway, I picked him because he already has the other one. So I picked this guy. However, the color on this one is just uh, lightish green. Uh, there's no battle damage or scratches that you can see. Unlike some of the Halo figures, if you're a Halo fan. Um, there's sizes radius from around this size 3.54 inches to 6.5 to 7 inches I believe um, these uh, figures the smaller ones they're they cost around less than $15 Canadian so for me since I'm not a, a Halo fanatic though I like the game I'm not not really into collecting Halo figures um, I think this is just fine with me anyway I, I was surprised on the articulation on this guy um, he has a fair amount of articulation for a small figure and just to display and take pictures of it it's, uh, it's really good and uh, now his size I'm gonna stop the rotating base now his size is similar to uh, a Revo Tech uh, let's say Megatron I do have him here with me so I will show you Megatron and show you Halo now Megatron here is very articulated but this guy too this Master Chief is uh, similar with the articulation so we'll go to this articulation and we'll go to some details in the figure so that's how the size comparison is as you can see almost the same size he's a bit bigger when we take out master chief and make him stand straight as you can see he is almost the same i guess yeah almost the same actually actually they're, they're the same I thought he was bigger but okay I'll take out Mr. Megs here and we'll go and check out Master Chief okay I'll as you can see the details on this guy is very well done for a small figure let's see, let's see. Master Chief paint job is good um, there are some difference of paint over here as you can see lighter to uh, this one is like more of a yellow greenish then this one's lighter green kind of thing going on but uh, you know it's not too bad you know when you compare him to the picture in the Halo 2 uh, cover of the video game you know I believe he is he's uh, much darker green on that picture but hey can't really complain about the painting here um, the one in series 6 has a lot more battle damage in areas and he has his signature signature rifle this one he has the submachine guns so we'll, we'll, we'll go to the accessories uh, as you can see there's only up to two accessories the two submachine guns and that's it there's no more other accessories I'm gonna take out the guns 
so I can give you a show of what his uh, articulation is. So, okay, the head can turn from side to side. Okay, but because of the design of his armor and there's a elevation on this side, you can't really turn him all around 360. Anyway, we don't really need the guy becoming an exorcist or something. You know, so that's fine. Now for the shoulders, there's a rotation in the shoulder joint. And it can go from inward to outward. There's no bicep swivel. There's a swivel on the elbow. And you can flex the elbow when the one it's only one jointed. As you can see. However, there's some hindrance because of the armor. Just like this one, see? Can't really go all the way in. Yeah, but you you only do so much that look normal, right? You can't go all the way and look like he has a broken arm. So <laughs> anyway. Joints are fine. Now the wrists have a swivel right there. You can go a bit from inward to outward and rotation. Torso can go from side to side. Now because of the design again when you turn it's kind of going down and going up over that side because of this and this. But yeah, it's not, it's not bad. See, see when you turn, it's like it's going up. Uh, there's a bit of um, ab crunch. Very nice. Um, for the legs, you can go all the way back up to there, up to there. And all the way to the front, there, and all the way there, like that, outward and inward. Now, um, there's a bit of a thigh swivel right there, this cut right there, and there's double jointed knees, which is good. Ankles go up and down, but there's no rockers, there's nothing there. As you can see, for a short guy, he is fairly articulated, like the Revotech. No, he's not bad. So, we do get a chance to uh, collect Halo, and you're in a budget. This guy is less than fifteen dollars. Really nice to um, to have him pose, but there are bigger ones. Uh, a bit pricey, but to be honest, um, since I'm not really a Halo figure fanatic, I'm just happy with this figure. I don't need the bigger version. Like as long as I can play around with him. It's fine. His articulation is similar to a Revoltech Megatron. Right there. So, if you guys have a chance, he's still in Walmart right now for a good price. They come in, they come in waves. Uh, they're in wave 6 now. And wave 6, we saw it, that we saw him, um, we saw those being sold at GameStop. But this was, uh, I saw this once at Walmart, but uh, I bought him at GameStop too, with, along with my nephew's Master Chief. Anyway guys, this is just a quick showcase. I was uh, interested to show you guys how this is, this figure is, and hopefully you see me and you buy me. There you go. Yay. Alright guys, time to flex out. Peace. 
and thank you for your support. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.